Okay, so welcome to my new video. Um, I think for today's video, I kind of want to go over the sub styles that I really, really wish I want to. Well, that I really, really want to wear, but that for some reason I just haven't got round to it yet. Um, to be fair, mostly just because I haven't been able to find any clothes that would go like with the sub style. I guess um. It's one of those situations where I know what kind of dresses I want, but I can never find them when I've got the money for them. And then when I don't have the money for them, they're absolutely everywhere. Or a few things have kind of like, it's the way you coordinate it, like um, some Lolita sub styles that I really love, but like you need to be able to coordinate it. And I think, you know, sometimes when you see styles and you see other people wearing them and you think oh my god I really wish I could wear that but you know that it's not going to look exactly this like at all like that on you um I think actually that's probably what the first one is there's a lot of Lolitas who are wearing this really cute version of classic Lolita it's um really elegant it looks very simple but you can tell it actually isn't it's sort of like Victoria Maiden and Mary Magdalene and it's dresses in like chiffon or in a very light cotton and it's all really cute and pastel and it just looks so elegant and so simple but I think the reason I haven't worn it is that it's one of those styles where other people can pull it off but if I wore it it would probably look a bit of a mess I just don't think I've got the coordinating skills to be able to wear it and not make it look as though I just haven't really bothered. Um, oh my gosh, I've been in the for like 10 years. So you'd think I'd have figured it out by now, but honestly, I just don't think it would work very well on me. Um, I don't know, maybe I'll have to see if I can get one of the dresses cheaply and try it out, but I don't know. I just don't think it's something I'd be very good at, even though I actually love that style. And it just seems so wearable, like, it looks like the kind of thing where you could wear it out shopping or just around town and people would probably just think you were really dressed up like they'd think you're going to a christening or a wedding or something i don't think people would um necessarily react to it um and it's kind of victorian inspired as well which i absolutely love and i guess all like the elegance and the um chiffony stuff reminds me of that kind of bridgerton style which again i also love um well, actually, I loved that way before Bridgerton came out, but <laughs> yeah, it's just a sub-style that it's like, I don't know if it isn't even a sub-style, it's just like a version of classic Lolita, it's like a sub-style of a sub-style, and it's not even a sub-style, <laughs> but it is something that I really wish I could wear, but because I don't really feel confident in being able to coordinate it properly so far, I haven't, and also every time I see dresses that fit in with it, I've got no money, and if, whenever I've got money, well, whenever I've got money, I mean, there's never any there. When I don't have money, those dresses are absolutely everywhere and it's very unfair. But I don't know, maybe I'll wear it one day. The next one, again, is a sub that I actually love, but I don't think I can make it work. It's Punk Lolita. I would absolutely love to be able to wear it, but I think it seems like something that's really, really hard to coordinate because I think it can look very easily as though you don't know what you're doing which is completely fine if you don't know what you're doing that is fine <laughs> i'm not like, i'm not saying that's a bad thing but i think um sometimes it can look a little it looks like the kind of thing where the people who wear it are really really good at it and it they make it look as though like everything they wore they decided to coordinate it that way on purpose but also effortlessly i think I think that's it. I think it's the kind of sub style where everything needs to work perfectly, but it needs to look as though you just happened to pick those like those particular pieces out without even thinking about it and you didn't put any effort in whatsoever and it just so happens that they all match perfectly, but you didn't intend that. It just happens to have ended up like that because you're too punk to care whether your clothes match. I think it's that kind of thing. That's not really a style I can work even like in Lolita or outside of Lolita and I really admire the people who can um, dress in a way where things like you can tell that they must have put some effort in but like where it looks completely effortless. Why, you know, when people have a style where it looks like it's just 
by some complete coincidence that their clothes actually work together. Um, yeah, I think it takes a lot of being able to coordinate very, very well to look as though you haven't coordinated at all, but wear clothes that still coordinate. I don't think that makes any sense. It makes sense to me, but um, yeah, I think the problem with me wearing Punk Lolita, either it would look as though I had put like no effort in and got it wrong, or it would look as though I had put a lot of effort in and put too much effort into making sure everything matched and I think that wouldn't really work in Punk Lolita, like I don't think it'd work too well with the whole spirit of the substyle. Um, I don't know, maybe someone should just like tell me what to wear for Punk Lolita. Maybe that should be something, maybe I should just like get people to like go through my wardrobe and tell me what works and then I'll wear all these different substyles. I need like a Lolita stylist basically, just someone who can just be like, okay, if you want to wear this substyle, you need to buy this piece and this piece and this piece and coordinate them like this and then you're wearing it. Because honestly, even after 10 years in this fashion, I am not particularly good at coordinating. Um, I think I would be by now, but I don't know, just not really. It's, um, it's a shame, but never mind. Next one is Country Lolita. Honestly, I don't even have an excuse for why I haven't worn this. There are gingham dresses everywhere. All I'd need is a gingham dress and like a straw boater hat and a straw handbag. And the only reason really that I haven't worn it, I think, is that every spring I think, OK, I really want to wear Country Lolita at least once this year. And then I completely forget about it. And then I just I just don't end up buying it, even though there is literally no reason why I shouldn't have bought a whole country lily to coordinate by now. There's no reason why I shouldn't have made one. You can buy gingham fabric literally like in any fabric shop and you can buy boater hats in... Actually I've been having a lot of trouble buying boater hats every time I find them in like um, charity shops or secondhand shops or vintage shops. They are absolutely like massive. I don't know, do I just have like a weirdly tiny head or something? I'm like four foot ten, maybe my head is proportionately smaller than the boater hats, but they're clearly designed for people with enormous heads. Um, and they don't really seem to sell them in high street shops either, or at the very least they don't sell them in high street shops near me. Like you can, I'll go on the websites and I'll see them, then I'll go to those exact same shops on the high street in my local city and there will not be a single one in stock. I've got no idea why that is. Although it does seem a lot that um, the nice stuff, or at least the stuff I like on websites, doesn't really seem to make it into the shops in Norwich. I'm getting off track here, we're talking about Lolita. Um, yeah, so country Lolita, maybe next spring I will actually make an effort to wear it because it looks so cute. It looks like a perfect kind of coordinate to wear to a picnic and my community normally has picnics around springtime. Um, yeah, okay, so that's my goal for next year for Lolita. I will get myself a country Lolita coordinate and I will actually wear it and I will go to a picnic meetup in country Lolita. Okay, so if country Lolita is a substyle that I associate with spring that I've never worn, I think Sailor Lolita is a substyle that I associate with summer that I would absolutely love to wear but I never have. And that's another one where the reason I haven't is because every time I have money to buy a country, not country, a Sailor Lolita outfit, there is absolutely nothing around, honestly. If I don't have the spare money to be buying Lolita, there'll be Sailor Lolita dresses absolutely everywhere. If I do have the money, then there, there's nothing, absolutely nothing at all. Um, I think it's a really cute kind of substyle. I think I'd probably go for the more innocent world, sweet classic mix one. I don't think I'd go for like completely classic. I don't think I'd go completely sweet. I think I'd go for an innocent world style. And I know innocent world has made a few Sailor Lolita dresses before. Um, yeah, so I guess... I just need to find one really. Um, I think it'd have to be something where I can use the clothes I've already got to go with it. I don't think I'd um, 
where it's sub sub style enough to be able to buy like all the extra stuff like I wouldn't buy a sailor themed headdress I'd just wear sort of a dark blue or white um headband or something but I think it is something I'd really like to wear and luckily I I know it takes some coordinating but as far as sub styles go compared to the other ones I want to wear I think basically you can get away with just like wearing a sailor lolita dress and you're in sailor lolita it's um I don't know it doesn't for people like me with no ability co to coordinate, I think it's probably one of the easiest substyles. I'm saying that, but it might turn out that I get a dress and then I just can't make it work at all. So, um, yeah, we'll have to see. Moving on from Sailor Lolita, the next one, I'm not sure it really counts as a substyle, it's more a theme, but I want to wear Pirate Lolita. Um, it just looks so fun and I guess the reason I haven't worn this is because, well for one thing it's another one of those ones that seems really really difficult to coordinate but there's probably, I can probably get something second hand from Alice and the Pirates that's pirate themed, they've done a, done a few ones, I'm kind of thinking like if it had like a um, ruffly blouse and like an asymmetrical skirt or an asymmetrical overskirt and just like, I've got a necklace shaped like a treasure chest I think I've still got it, I don't think I threw it away. Um, again, something that I don't know if I can really coordinate, something that would work, but to be fair, a lot of, the, I think, the Alice and the Pirates ones, if I can't coordinate it in a piratey way, I could just coordinate it in a normal Lolita way because I think the Alice and the Pirate prints at the very least would work quite well. I'm also not entirely sure where I would wear it. Um, I don't know. I guess to meetups, like maybe if Ailstorm come back to Norwich I could wear it there, but if I wear a Lolita equivalent to Ailstorm, is that going to get completely ruined? Would I be better off just wearing something like vaguely piratey? I don't know. Um, I don't know what Ailstorms are like. It's, um, I've never managed to go. I was going to go like last year, but then I couldn't get tickets and there was a pandemic and it was just like, no. Was it last year? It was the year before that. I don't know, but um, yeah, I would absolutely love to have to wear Pirate Lolita because it just looks so fun and I think I could probably get a lot of use out of the dresses outside of wearing it in that kind of theme. I could probably, I really could just wear like some of those dresses in, I think a lot of my design to be worn in just completely normal Lolita coordinates that just happen to have a pirate themed print on it. Um, also I really love the look of those tiny little Lolita pirate hats but again that's the kind of thing where if I bought it I'd only have one dress I could wear it with like when when else would I wear this I would have to buy more dresses to get the use out of it and then that's a complete waste of dresses and I don't know um perhaps one day um <laughs> I don't know perhaps if I know anyone who's got a tiny little Lolita pirate hat I can borrow theirs and just be a pirate Lolita for a day but yeah maybe that's the key to um wearing all these sub styles maybe you just need to like know people who have the specific accessories to go with them and get the entire con to just like swap accessories and borrow things maybe that's the way to do it um I don't know it's got to be cheaper than just everyone buying all the accessories doesn't it I don't know anyway that is everything for this video um see ya